Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles. I am delighted um, to be joined with us with, with Zane, who had a brilliant film, uh, Wizards, uh, in our film festival. Welcome, Zane. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? It's all good. It's all good. Thank you for bringing us your film. And for those that haven't seen Wizards, let's take a look at a clip. Um, Zane, I, I, I wish I could uh, go in for the hug like your character did when he was trying to make friends around the table, but unfortunately we're in this virtual experience, so I can't do that. But Virtual there, high five to you. Virtual high five, there we yeah. go. Um, so anyways, uh, thank you for bringing your film to us, but um, for those that haven't seen it, can you just share like a, a brief synopsis of your film? Um, sure. So it takes place in a gaming world, nerd nerdly world world for lack of a better word but um yeah it's about um a guy that tries to infiltrate that group and the group rejects him that's the, yeah the pilot and it, and it is it well i'm glad you mentioned that because it is a pilot and and honestly as i just said to you in our pre green room i was like i was left wanting more i was really engaged by these stories and these yeah. characters and i was like please give us some more zane um, where did, where did the inspiration come for you in creating this project? Um, much like the character in the, in the show, if you see the show, he works in a liquor store and, uh, I was at the time working in a liquor store and I would walk home. And I think at the time I was like having some, I don't, I don't days were hard back then. So anyway, I'm walking by and I look by a window and I see everybody at a table playing uh, Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons. And I just thought it was like really beautiful that there was this community and there was like this warmth in the room. And, and uh, it just inspired me. So that's how it started. I love it. I love it. I mean, the, the, the craziest thing is, is that, I mean, I know this is, again, this is a pilot. So I'm, I'm looking forward to experiencing, you know, many more episodes. But I, 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 the, the, the characters were great like like there were so many distinctive characters and and they all had certain nuance about them that i really really enjoyed um how was it like cre creating this world and like and like and how was how was the casting process for you as well so creating the world was i didn't know anything about the world um so i had to do a bunch of research and characters just come to me i don't know uh how other people do it but a certain voice will just start talking and i just follow that voice and then for casting i just got really really lucky and er basically everybody that i worked with i was just lucky to work with them so yeah it was by uh friends of friends and just meeting people we didn't have a casting we just we were micro budget. It cost like four grand. So we just, I don't know, uh, serendipity, I guess. I mean, no, it's, a, I mean, what I love what you just said, actually, which is, I think so many people are afraid of doing something that they don't know anything about. And I love that you had to go and do a bunch of research. It's like, if people don't know about, because, you know, the gaming world is a very, uh, you know, I mean, I'm almost scared of it because I think to myself, my God, how, how what are they doing? Like, I feel so locked. And I love that you went and thought, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to make a create because it just felt completely realistic. Now it, it centers around, you know, this character who's, who's going through, you know, a lot and, you know, there's so much empathy for him because you know what, like a lot of people go for a lot of experience in life and so often, more often than not, you don't see on the outside what people going through on the inside, you know, and that, and that later gets re revealed in the pilot and it's, it's, you know, it changes the game for, how some of the actors' response is to it as well. For you as a director, when you're directing like an ensemble of a cast and and and, and there's all these comedic elements, like how much of it, how much do you get involved as a director? You kind of quite hands-on. Do you sit back and kind of like let things happen and see what what can happen spontaneously? How do you work? It started out, this is like my first direct 
acting thing ever. So I thought I would go in and it would be like just throwing chairs around and telling yeah. people what to do. Yeah. But uh, it turned out that I didn't have to do a lot to the actors. They pretty much brought, uh, they brought their, that's them. That's just them yeah. doing it. We didn't even have a rehearsal. And uh, I had said that I didn't want to do any imp improvising, but then we had to cut stuff. And we only, so it became this thing where uh, all of a sudden they're improvising, you know, and you're just like, but then it turns out to be good. So I, my, my process, my parents are coaches. And so for me, directing was, uh, I'm, I hate sports metaphors, but you're basically a coach. Everybody else is playing the game and you just, you set up the plays, you prepare as much as possible and then you go out and they execute. Mm -hmm. So, and then I'm there for ask, answering questions or saying, no, don't do that. You know, that's basically my- I, I, I always, I can't believe it's like your first thing you directed. Like, I just was like, I, it, it just felt like someone had done many movies to kind of get all that working together. Cause there's a lot of dynamics there and reaction and it, it, I'm glad that it all worked as, as well as it should be um, serendipitously. Um, what I was going to say as well, when you're, when you're making and creating for experience as a director, you had a few locational setups. Like how, how was that experience? Like I always, people are creating an experience in a bar. Like there's always a lot of elements when you're thinking about that. How was the kind of location experience for you and, and, and the whole kind of production itself? Well, I wrote it to scale. So all the locations, except for a hand, well, two, uh, didn't cost any money. So that's like my sister's garage. That's actually my apartment. Oh, so you're welcome. But <laughs> welcome to my home. But anyway, uh, we, I meticulously plotted it all out in my head. I drew storyboards and I did all this stuff because again, it goes speaks to the preparedness. We don't have, we didn't have a lot of money. We didn't have a lot of time mm -hmm. and there weren't rehearsals. So I knew I had everything lined up again we had to cut some stuff and um, cameras had to be moved. Uh, but uh, th yeah, just, I was just super prepared. So, and then I'm again, very, very lucky because Joaquin Pujol, our cinematographer had shot so many things and he's so good that he took care of that. You know, he took care of a lot of that stuff. So it's like, it's just having the best people you, you possibly get. Yeah, I love the way it was shot. I'm glad yeah, you he's great. That. Like, so good, because, like, you know, there's a certain style you have to shoot, particularly when you're doing, you know, co comedic elements or moments sort of thing. Like, even the way it just appeared with the, you know, putin up on the, you know, just like, yeah. just was, I started bursting out laughing just when I saw that, because, it, you know, you're, you're given essence of character, but you're also just, like, it's just a funny moment when you just see him up there on the, on, in the it was great. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, um, but no, I, I, it was, it was really wonderfully shot as well. I, I, I really enjoyed it. What was, now this is your first obviously experience in, 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 you know, in directive. What was the, what was the biggest challenge you had in making it? I didn't expect the gruelingness of it. Uh, our first day was like a, a, like a 14 hour day. And it was, I think we shot like 15 pages, which apparently is unheard of. You're not oh. supposed to do that. So I'm very naive. Yeah. So, and I don't know why, but yeah, we managed to, we had to cut some stuff, but we shot 15 pages. And then the next day was a 5 a.m. call time because we had to be in the liquor store before they opened. And I didn't sleep at all that night. Mm. And so it's funny because it's like, it's low budget. Uh, we're arguing over where to place the ca or we nobody argued but we're moving the camera and doing these blocking scenes over you know a dick joke you know basically yeah. and <laughs> you're you're so stressed out but it's uh the stakes it just didn't seem to match what we were doing you know to be this stressed out about it so i didn't expect that i didn't expect yeah. uh, to be stressed out but it was lovely it was a lovely experience um yeah um, I, I mean, what, I, I don't know whether you thought about this when you were, you know, putting the film together and writing it, but like, I'm just, you know, I, there, I, I couldn't help but thinking like, you know, you, you've, you've met people that have gone through, you know, experiences, whether you're the outside person looking in, 
to a group of friends or whether you're going for a thing in life, is there kind of a certain thing that you want your kind of audience to sort of take from your film as well as being entertained? Like, I don't know, it just kind of made me feel like it's nice to see a bit of humanity just, just follow in with just, hey, just, you know, just be nice, you know, <laughs> kind of thing. Exactly, yeah, I mean, that, that you hit the, the nail on the hammer, or uh, I think I flipped that. But anyway, uh, yeah. it was, it, I liked the character Ronnie, the coming in being, you know, a kind of a stock book uh, character of like uh, the the bro or whatever. And then you see that he's suffering something. And then I like flipping your, your, uh, the audience's expectations basically. Yeah. And for me, because I said this yesterday in the Q and A and it sounded good there. So I'm going to say it here. Uh, for me, the reason why I felt so comfortable writing about something that I don't, I don't live in that world was because it was just a it was a metaphor so like if you watch horror films uh our fear of godzilla or godzilla is a monster but it's a metaphor for our fear of the nuclear holocaust for me the gaming world and all this stuff was about community it was a metaphor for people coming together and people uh sitting around a table to to do something and play make believe and uh and that that kind of brings everybody together so i'm glad you picked up on it that was the point of like um giving giving everybody plus it's got to last a couple of it's got to last you know like it yeah. keeps going so um i just wanted a lot of heart to sustain that yeah i know i, I, lo I love that because i feel like sometimes i'm so tired when they sort of stereotype um, the gaming world in a way that it's almost like, and especially in a comedy, um, you know, and I think it was, again, you brought it about community and like bringing in people from all walks, circles, experiences, going through, you know, difficult things in life, you know? And so I love that. Um, yeah, there was obviously, uh, I, I mean, I think it, you know, I, I left me again, as I say, wanting more. So I'm glad it's a pilot and there is more. Um, but, you know, I even love the fact that, you know, just, just, I want to give it a little sneaky away, but you know, Jim Powder's got a whole new element to me now. It's uh, I'm hoping that uh, I've got a friend that would do the same for me. If you haven't seen, you got to watch it. Um, what I would, you know, um, you know, it was interesting as well. I think particularly during this time about, you know, uh, when he, when he kind of goes in for, you know, goes in for a hug. Cause it's like, we're in such a world right now where everyone's so, so distancing. I think it just goes to show the power of just, you know, communicating and, and, and being together. Um, what I would love to, you know, know from you is, is, is this is your first directed film. What uh, have you learned in this? And maybe any filmmakers that kind of want to follow in your footsteps as a director, especially when they get in their first project under the way, do you have any advice you could share with the audience? Sure. Um, I think that for me, I never, I would just wanted to write. So for me, just taking a shot is huge. So, um, having that decision to make that decision to be like, I'm going to direct this is a big, huge decision. But once that's made my, what I learned personally was I had a great team, David Amito, Nick Colt, and the entire cast. And that's the thing that is going to see your projects. Uh, uh, it's, it's, we're not making paintings, you know what I mean? Yeah. This is like a, a group effort. So be very, very, uh, get, get good, good people and yeah. surround yourself with people that are, and let them be good, you know? Yeah. And um, that's probably the most important thing uh, yeah, no, I that I've learned. The team is everything and, and you know, and clearly it shows in the work when you've got a good team, you can, you can feel it in all the elements of it. So. Absolutely. Um, what is next for you? What's next? What's next on the horizon, Zane? Uh, well, I have a deep bench of material now. So uh, writing, I, now I have the Jones to direct again. So um, I was actually going to call these guys that I worked with and try to figure out our next thing. What because out of picking what I have, but lately I've just been writing every day. So. Oh, fantastic. Well, fa fantastic. I'm glad you've been using quarantine to your advantage and just <laughs> taking some yeah. good writing time as well. Listen, I honestly, I, I love the world that you took us into with Wizards. I, I, you know, it was, 
left me, as I said, wanting more. So please just keep making more movies for us. And um, thank you. Where can people find the next episode? Is there a place we can see it yet, or is it going to be soon released? I or? think I had the second. Uh, I think I p- placed the. God, I'm having a hard time talking. Uh, <laughs> uh, the second episode, like in script form, but we haven't shot it. So, okay. um, if anybody wants to uh, see the next one, uh, yeah, give me some money. And we'll yeah, do there it. you go. Oh, I like. Yeah. See. That's how every interview should end. Is get yeah. You can see the yeah. next one if you pay for it. There you go. <laughs> can I can I put my Venmo account in this and you yeah, just you like, can put yeah. it on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like that. We're gonna yeah. do it from now on. Um, Zay, thanks so much. Thanks for being here. Thanks yeah, thank you. And uh, we we appreciate it. and keep making more movies for us. Can I say one thing? Of course. Yeah. Uh, and you can maybe edit it or later. Yeah. Of but but if you are gonna make something, I would suggest sending it to this film festival. Oh, bless you. Yeah, this has been a great experience. So thank Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate it, Zane. Thank you.